What's up you guys, Sergi here from Mirror Coffee Roasters and today we're gonna to be talking about how to brew batch brew coffee at home. So we're gonna dive in. We're gonna talk about two different things here, two major things is gonna be your brewer and then your grinder. And those are very, very important parts of the brewing process, but also not forgetting that scales are gonna be important as well. So first off, your brewer is gonna be, um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. This here is my favorite, it's the Bonavita. And what it does is it has a special kind of spray head on top that distributes water pretty evenly. Therefore, it makes it a little expensive on the expensive side. I bought it for 200 bucks, but it's definitely worthwhile the investment. Um, you can also go to Target, just pick up a batch brewer there. They have a ton of batch brewers, or you can go to SCA.com and research what are some more expensive ones. Um, next, we have this grinder here. This is the Barazza Forte. Now, this grinder is the cream of the crop in the Barazza line of grinders. It is the most expensive grinder. Once again, don't be intimidated by that. You don't need a super expensive grinder. You just need a good one that matches what you're doing. So with that said, you can also do some research and find a good burr grinder. So burr is necessary. You want your burrs to be um, not blades. You don't want blades, you want burrs, remember. And that helps with keeping your grind size consistent. And we're gonna talk about that and how that affects. Next is we're also gonna need a scale. Like this here is under $50 and it's a Hario scale that I not only use for uh, batch brew here, but I also use it for pour overs. So it'll be handy for other brewing methods as well. Um, also, you can go to Target and look up a very easy kitchen scale that will also do the job. All right, so that's kind of the basic equipment that you'll need. We're gonna talk about the coffee to water ratio. Um, keep it very basic, one part coffee, 16 parts water. So if you wanna brew one cup, then you want roughly eight grams of coffee. All right, so then multiply that by more, then you can do the math and add as much coffee you want to water. And that'll kind of give you the standard recipe and ratio, but you can also adjust that to taste. All right, so we're ready to go. We already have some coffee pre-dosed to 70 grams for eight cups of water. So we're gonna brew some coffee, let's do it. All right, so we have our ground coffee right here, and this is the size that you should be looking for. So it's quite even, um, there's no chunks, it's not super fine, it looks good to me. All right, so now we're gonna add some water, just make sure you don't make a mess, that is key. Now that we have our water in there and we have our pot ready to go, I'm gonna add some of this coffee to the basket with a filter in there. I always give a couple of taps to make sure that bed is even and there's no like bumps. And then we're gonna start play. Y'all ready for this? So while the coffee is brewing, let me tell you something you should know about the taste of coffee. So for example, you're taking your first sip and it's a little weak, tastes watered down. Basically, that's a fairly easy fix. You should just add a little bit more coffee. And now don't make dramatic changes and see what that does. Now, if your coffee is tasting sour or tasting bitter, that's a grind size error. So if it's tasting sour, make your grind size a little finer and it'll extract more. If it's tasting bitter, make your mouth dry, then make your grind size a little coarser. So it's about finishing up, making all those noises for us. We're about to give it a try. All right. Wow, now that's a cup of coffee. Definitely those almond notes in the back end, picking it up, loving it, enjoying it. Just the right strength. Guess we nailed the dose, nailed the grind size, and now it's just time to sit back and enjoy. Well guys, that kind of wraps up our brewing tutorial. So let us know what you think. Do you have any questions? What are you brewing on? What are you grinding your coffee with? What are you enjoying? We'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button and enjoy your coffee. Mm. Mm, 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 mm.
the perfect time to dance, to contemplate, to maybe pray, read a book. I don't know, do whatever you want. Or you can just, you know, observe that brewing.